read the story, The Mitten. And I found some of the characters that are animals in the story at my house. If you could find some at your house to have while you guys listen to the story, that would be great. You don't have to have all of the animals, but just some would help. Um, and I have a mitten to put the animals in during the story. So I am going to read and you can help during the story. The mitten. Open the book, turn the page. Turn the page. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mitten made from wool as white as snow. Turn the page. At first, his grandmother, Baba, did not want to knit a white mitten. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nikki wanted the white mitten and finally Baba made them. Turn the page. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, and then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nikki went and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. Can you see the mitten? There it is in the snow. Let's turn the page and see what happens. A mole, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. The mole went in. Here's my mitten, and I don't have a mole. The mole went in. We're going to turn the page and see what happens next. I see something right there. shoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment and admired his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten and wiggled in. Feet first, the mole didn't think there was enough room for both of them. But when she saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. The rabbit is in the mitten. Let's find rabbit and put it in the mitten. Turn the page. Next the hedgehog came shuffling along having spent the day looking under the wet leaves for things to eat. He decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles, they made room. The hedgehog went in the mitten. Can 
you see which one is hedgehog? I see hedgehog. I'm gonna pick hedgehog and put it in the mitten. Let's turn the page. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down when he decided to move in also. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and grumbled, but when they saw the owl's glinting talons, they quickly let him in. Can you see his talons or his claws? And the owl went in the mitten. Let's find owl. There's owl. Do I have an owl? I don't have an owl today. Let's turn the page. Maybe you have an owl at home. Up through the snow appeared a badger. Badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left. But when they saw the badger's diggers, they gave him a thumb. Badger in the mitten. Here's my badger. Badger in. Okay, let's turn the page. Do you see what's coming next? Looks like a fox. It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth and they gave the fox lots of room. The fox went in the mitten. Let's turn the page. Who's coming next? Who do you see? Great bear lumbered by. Oh, we forgot to put the fox in. Let's put the fox in the mitten, because I have a fox. The great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be. But what? animal would argue with a bear. The bear in the mitten. The bear swelled and stretched. The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged too many times, to many times its size. But Baba's good knitting held fast. Whose turn is it next? Let's see, we'll turn the page. We need to put the bear in. So now in the mitten we have 
our hedgehog, our mole, our owl. Is the mouse in yet? No. Our rabbit, our fox, our bear, and our badger are all in the mitten. Along came a meadow mouse. No bigger than an acorn, she wriggled into one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. The mouse on the bear. Let's turn the page. We'll put, we have our bear. We're going to put the mouse on the bear. Turn the page. The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Ah, 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 choo! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up in the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. Out they came. On his way home, Nicky saw the white shape in the distance. It was the lost mittens silhouetted against the blue sky. Let's turn the page. As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First, she looked to see if he was safe and sound. And then she saw that he still had his new mittens. Let's turn the page. They are different sizes, aren't they? One has been stretched too big and one is small. The end.